Hey everyone, I'm the Taylorette and I will be talking about the new equipment that I have purchased within the past month. So when I first got this cutter, I was supposed to use it for the mask making. However, I really was so busy I didn't have time to actually figure out how to use it because there were some parts in here. I finally got to looking it up and I realized that it really is not that big of a deal and I probably could have used it. Wow, this thing's heavy. So apparently I need to plug this in and plug this guy in down here. So the cool thing about this is that it actually rolls on this table and I don't need a cutting mat because as you're cutting, the fabric goes on top of here and it cuts. Let's turn this goober on. Sounds like it's running pretty good. So I think I'm gonna set up the fabric that I need and start cutting from there. What I was normally doing is I was using this large rotary cutter and I would basically line it up and cut it like this, which was kind of strenuous on my back because you have to push hard enough. And actually this is the thing that chopped the tip of my finger off a couple of years ago. So I would like to try and not use this guy because it's very dangerous for thick layers. I'm just gonna trial and error. I'm going to draw a line that I'm supposed to cut. And here it goes. I'm just gonna take a shot at this and see how it works. So I'm gonna cut out the rest of these strips and then this will be done. So these are all done, and actually, I don't know if you can tell, but this is technically a four ply, but this is actually an eight ply that I'm cutting through, not four. There's four layers of flannel and four layers of cotton, but I want to experiment with more layers. So I'm gonna go take some scraps. So actually I have this one strip left over, so it's already folded once. So I'm just going to fold it several times, like this and like this. Okay, here's some extra scraps. I'm going to fold this and like this. 16 layers of flannel. I'm gonna see how that does. They say to do six ply, but I always like to push the limits. So, so let's try it. No chopping fingers. Give you perspective from this side. nice and clean cut and it just like that so as you probably know i'm really excited about this because now i can cut out eight dresses at one time because eight dresses equals 16 layers because they're folded in half hard to explain but anyways so i'm really excited because now i don't have to use the scissors that i have been using which have been really cramping my hands the only thing that i'm concerned about is inhaling some cotton dust. I'm afraid of getting a little bit of fluff in my lungs, I guess you could say. I'm gonna have to possibly be wearing a mask for that. I don't know. We'll see. I have a little bamboo in here. I'm a little bit concerned about his lungs. If some of you watched my other video, you'll know that I got a second industrial sewing machine. That's a DDL 8700. I also have my serger over there. Um, but this guy, when I got it, I actually learned a few things about it. Okay, y'all, don't laugh at me because my other machine, I thought I was oiling it, but I was oiling it from the top. Apparently, that's not good enough. So the whole three years that I've had my other machine, I've been oiling it wrong, and it was jamming, and I couldn't figure out why. So I go in to buy my other machine, and he gives me a little education on it. He tells me that I need to lift up my machine and oil it in down here, put a pan of oil, and there was no oil in the bottom of my other one. So that's why it was jamming up and it could have really ruined my machine. So I'm thankful for buying a second machine because I learned how to preserve my other one. 
kind of ironic. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I have tons more stuff coming through because I have lots of ideas. Since I took a break, I've had so much time to think about some new ideas. So all that said, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you next time. And a knife cutting fabric something over this is where scripts are helpful. Hey YouTubers! Oh, I got another sale. But why am I talking and this is keeps going off? We're gonna do silent mode here because we're getting.